I'm an open person and it probably comes from, from being a former reporter as well. But open and engaging government has has been the cornerstone, has been the rock that we we put this administration on. And and, and just transparency and accountability comes along with that. And I think it's it's important to include people in their government and you can do that through transparency. Because I feel if someone understands their government and feels not so intimidated by it that they're going to be uh, more apt to be involved with it. So we show that from start to finish, the good and the bad. It's important to show folks what is taking place. You're, you're in a bit of an odd position with, with this special election because uh, you ran for the post of governor just a few, uh, just a stone's throw away on the calendar. Uh, how did you maintain a position of objectivity as a Democrat with a Democrat running for governor. It, it is a unique um, situation where you have that person who who is an elected official who is also the chief election official who oversees the process. And so for me it was a unique situation because I had run for governor in the primary election back in May and had pledged my support, win or lose, to the person who was the Democratic nominee. And I made sure that I kept my word for that. So I had that aspect. I, I wanted to show my child that I was a good sport also and that you, that you stand by your word when you say you will do something. Voter turnout, you had more than 300,000 people come to the polls on election day, 25% of the state votes. How does that rank in terms of a special election? It ranks pretty well for a special election, especially better than the two previous special elections that we've had over the last couple of months. So 25%, probably higher than most folks expected. I'm not as happy with it because it is only 25%. I think that over the last 17 months, we've been able to show the high standards that we have for West Virginia and for elections. We have been asked to have five elections in 17 months. What does the future hold for you? I will run in, in 2012 and, and hope to be reelected to Secretary of State and do a, a, another good job for the next four years. And if, if a governorship or something else um, is, is available, I'm going to look at that because it, it's, it's not me who decides, it's really the people who decide where they want their elected officials. And